What's going on, everybody? This is your host, Demetrius, with the PPP Panthers Prime Podcast. Hey, man, we got the game on Monday, Panthers versus Saints. A lot of things that I'm looking at right now from this Saints and Titans game, that kind of has me looking at the Saints secondary like, hmm, maybe we might be able to get a couple on you. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Hey, man, you know what time it is. Let's go. All right, so I want to show you a couple plays real quick that's going to kind of allude to, you know, why I think the secondary of the uh, New Orleans Saints will be tested. Uh, and two of these plays, and these plays were early on, we see that the cornerbacks and the safeties uh, are really looking back towards the quarterback uh, to kind of see where the ball is going at. And I believe under the assumption that, you know, their defensive line is capable enough and quick enough to get to the quarterback. Well, there was two plays in particular that I saw where the wide receiver was able to get right behind, you know, the corner and the safety. And if Tannehill would have seen that, uh, it, it probably would have been straight to the end zone. Unfortunately, he did not. But we have a more, in my opinion, a more cognizant, you know, more understanding uh, quarterback than Tannehill. I know that may sound crazy for what happened on Sunday, but just hear me out. I believe that this please two plays, if Bryce would have seen these plays and how much separation the wide receiver got, it would have probably been a touchdown. So we're going to do a little bit of film study real quick, take a look at some things that I've seen. Uh, I don't believe that the Saints have a good run game, nor do they have a good run defense at all. Uh, I think that they struggled against Tennessee early on, and uh, you know it just wasn't a good showing as far as the run stop. Uh, so, and plus their running backs aren't the best either dancing in the backfield and, you know, not really hitting, you know, hitting, you know, the A gap, B gap, you know, with force and authority. So we'll take a look at it. So let's roll the footage. All right, guys, so there you have it. You can see kind of what I was saying. Their defense, you know, in the secondary, uh, to me, is questionable. You know, um, their defensive line is not going to be able to get that much pressure on Bryce Young. Our offensive line, even with, you know, us losing, you know, Brady Christensen, I do believe that we're able to still maintain that decent wall of protection for Bryce. So uh, I do believe that he'll have more time to, 
scan the field, see who's who's available, who's open, and get the ball to him. You know, with DJ Chark coming back to uh, practice, and you know he had a good three days from what I've heard of practice. He was at practice today, so you know that equals up to uh, four days of practice that he's been to. Um, he's still suited as questionable, but I think he gives us a better chance with exploiting uh, the secondary deep uh, rather than kind of what we saw, you know, in Atlanta where it was a lot of more short passes, you know, 10, maybe 12 yards right at the line of scrimmage. So if those safeties are looking backfield and they're not playing, you know, their man, uh, it's, it's going to be a long day for those corners and those safeties. So, and, and, and also, you know, the run game, you know, Derrick Henry, we know who he is. You know, we know what he's capable of doing. Um, you know, if we get that run game going, which I, I'm excited about the addition of, of Tyreek Cohen, uh, Tyreek Cohen, but I do believe he'll be on special teams. But that's going to free up my man Raheem Blackshear to really do his thing. So now we have a three-headed running attack, uh, <laughs> like we had last year. <laughs> I do believe that the Carolina Panthers will win this game against the Saints. I believe it's going to be like a 24-17, you know, type of game. I'll come back probably tomorrow with uh, my expectations and concerns. Uh, but this is just a little bit of film study, some things that I saw, some tendencies that I saw early on, uh, what these cornerbacks and safeties are doing, and uh, you know, just how the run defense is non-existent uh, in New Orleans. So, hey, go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. You know, drop a comment down there below, and uh, hey. This is your boy Demetrius with the PPP, Panthers Prime Podcast. You know what time it is. Let's go.